all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we will bring you back to back update and information as to the hot in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first one uh, collect them uh, you don't shall, uh, uh, of course you know that today is the 30th of may uh, that the IPOB and Gia France are observing sit at home in commemoration for the fallen heroes. But as it is, it has been a tragic and bloody uh, Thursday in the land of the indigenous people of Biafra because of the outcome of this particular sit at home. Um, a lot of people decided to default on the sit at home, and there has been a lot of woto woto, especially in Abba. Abia State right now, Ariara, Ngwa Ngwa Road, uh, Ababai Road, uh, Patakot Road, Aba and the rest of them. Uh, it's more or so that that place is on fire. Okona Badia, as it be, because uh, there has been. I'll drop the video now so that you can see the video of what is actually happening there, where the army, energy army, and uh, the BLA army are battling it face to face in Abba Abia State. Uh, that is where this one is happening. It has not been easy around that place. Uh, I don't know why people like uh, Fortran warning. People like uh, Fortran uh, for, uh, warning. These people were uh, told to sit at home, stay in your house just for this one day and um, they have decided to come out and a lot of things are happening now in Enugu state uh, many has been injured and goose worth of millions of naira has been lost as uh, government attacked Enugu market they have also burned some market parts and vehicle let's go down to what is happening right now in Enugu state this is current report of what is going on uh, in the Biafra land as regards with the sit at home and i think that um our governors should have been wise enough to have observed this sit at home in order to avert all this bloodshed it's just one day and the governors could have played along but of course uh, they don't want their leaders to call them coward or to call them uh, that they are cowardice in nature and they have decided to uh, make sure uh, that some of these things are happening today it is an alibo and the people who passed away as Biafra heroes are Umibo and um, Ndiocha too, Nemi Eme. You don't shall a cheer as remains of vehicles and tricycles loaded with goods we are seen at different parts of the market. Some government have attacked Nkwo Ibagwa market in the Igbo as a south local government area of Enugu state, injuring scores of people and destroying goods, reportedly worth millions of naira. The hoodlums on Wednesday also burned at least two commercial buses and two tricycles. So our reporters gathered that the government, who we are allegedly enforcing sit at home order in commemoration of Biafra Heroes Day, slated for Thursday, 30th May, unleashed the mayhem on helpless traders at the market, destroying their wares and burning any vehicle inside. Charred remains of vehicles and tricycles loaded with goods we are seen at different parts of the market. Development had put fear in the residents and traders who have been counting their losses since the incident. Meanwhile, there is a palpable tension in the Enugu metropolis as military checking points have been mounted on major streets and roads. Armored personnel carriers were also stationed at strategic areas. So our reporters observed that as a result of the numerous military and police checking point, there are traffic congestions on the major road in the metropolis. Soldiers are searching vehicles, especially SUVs and porch cars. It was also observed that the military had deployed the armored personnel couriers to MNN Eke Obiago, Ababa Junction, Trans Ekulu, Gariki, Holy Ghost, Ogi Junction, and New Heaven Junction, among other strategic locations. To reassure residents of the state that no harm would come to them if they disregard the sit-at-home order given by the indigenous people of Biafra. Meanwhile, 
the effort to speak with the Enugu State Command Police Public Relations Officer DSP Daniel Ndukwe for comments regarding the incident on Igbeze Field and he did not answer his calls. Uh, this one is currently happening in Enugu State. Uh, of course, I have brought you uh, what is also happening in Aba. I will drop the video by the end of uh, this broadcast so that you will see for yourself what is going on in Abia State, uh, Aba and um, Enugu State. Meanwhile, uh, some people have dropped some comments. Uh, somebody said at least they are not imbecile and cowards like Eurobars. Continue. Uh, Afrima said IPOB and ESN created by Nam the Kano are responsible for the attacks and the killings in the southeast Nigeria. Um, if you look at what is happening, uh, you find out that uh, somehow some of these things could be hijacked uh, by some hoodlums or by people who do not have the interest of the people, interest of Mazen Nam the Kano, interest of Eba at hand, so that people will feel that. Um, that these people are the ones doing it. As it be for another location, information will be said if they drop from my table now, be say uh, they don't uh, put to fire uh, about four vehicles and, uh, and also Nigerian soldiers. Um, some government has ambushed uh, the soldiers and have fired some of them, sent some of them to early judgment. This one is also happening today. Um, according to somebody just commented, his the name is Nancy Blessing. He said this government should release that innocent colonel and ad and advise their soldiers to leave southeast for peace. I'm really pained and tired of all this evil on earth. Another person said, "You speak. Uh, I don't want to talk on that one because uh, that is a bad comment." But from Nadozia Emeka, he said. May 30th is like a ritual norm in entire Biafra soil. I wonder what military will be doing on the road that day to stop people from mourning their falling heroes. I don't understand this. Torred said, when they start now, they will say they are clean Igbo people. I'm sorry for you people. <laughs> um, when I don't see as it happen, Ndipani uh, Silo Mahwa Walo. Uh, as it be, uh, a lot of things has gone down today. Meanwhile, uh, there has been a lot of warning going on before this time. And somehow, I wonder uh, why people choose to jeopardize their life for the government. Uh, because these people can promise you protection. Uh, they told you that the soldiers will be there. Uh, army will be there. Uh, this one will be there. And the other one will be there. As it be for Abia State, uh, they say that the governor of Enugu State has ordered a roll call for workers. <laughs> um, well, may, let's go to the full detail of the information before I will come back to you. Be afraid the governor Mba orders workers roll call. Police deploy special squad. This is even as Anambra and Imo State Police Command said. They have deployed their men to offices and schools to counter any threat to lives and property by hoodlums. The statement by Enugu State Government, Anambra and Imo Police Command followed threats by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, insisting on commemorating the Biafra Day in the Southeast. IPOB said the day was set aside to honor those who died during the Civil War between July 6, 1967 and January 15, 1970. IPOB also warned that all activities in the Southeast are banned on May 30, calling to the governors in the region to provide adequate security for lives and properties on that day. Also, the movement of the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra Masov insisted that today's celebration must be held despite threats by the security agents. In a secular issued yesterday by Enugu State Head of Service Ken Ugu and circulated to Head of State Agencies, Military, Parastatals, Academic and Medical Institution and other sundry arms, the Head of Service said it became expedient to clarify that the state government did not declare today a public holiday or sit-at-home day, contrary to misconception from quarters. According to the secular, May I, therefore, remind our workers that failure to be in their duty post today will attract some dismissal from service in line 
with the enabling provisions of the public service rules. It must be noted that such purported public holidays at home will have far-reach consequences on the academic pursuit of our children who are taking part in the senior secondary examination. According to them, it says simultaneously across the entire West African sub-region, including the southeastern region. Any state government is strongly frowns at any calculated attempt to mortgage the future of our children and has therefore put in place necessary security arrangements to guarantee the safety and unrestricted movement of all citizens and residents within the state. All permanent secretaries, directors of administration, head of departments and agencies of government are directed to take a roll call of all those who came to work and return same. <laughs> but I don't see as it happened, this one, they shell it for Enugu State. Uh, they say governor don't ask the head of workers to take roll call uh, so that they go know people will come and people will not come. Meanwhile, here I go to wind out the country. Just watch that video as it happened for Aba Abia State. <laughs> 